Hello, and welcome to our show today. I'm excited to announce that I'm here with Angelina Wyman to talk about something traumatic that happens and affects her still to this day. Hello. Hello. I have a few questions for you. Um, how does the trauma affect your interest in activities? Uh, you know, I used to love Halloween, and since this happened on Halloween, now I don't like it no more. I don't uh. like anything to do with Halloween. I don't like rain. Since it was a rainy day, I don't like none of that. <laughs> uh, another question I have is, do you find yourself avoiding things that you associate with your memory? School, I guess. Hmm. I want to say school. <laughs> like, I stopped going to school. Yeah, a lot of us wish we could do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, part of my joke, yeah. Let's take, a, let's take a look at the first clip. Oh, oh. So what's this clip about? That's my house. That's where everything happened. Uh -huh. uh, my house is supposed to be my safe zone, but now it's not. I really don't want to be there. I see. Uh, that's my room. That's, That's nice. where I mostly stay at. But now, I really don't want to spend my free time there at all. I see that. All right, so have any of your friendships or family relationships suffered what you've suffered? My family, a lot, since they were there. Also, I have my boyfriend, okay. who was there with me the whole time. He he's scared of a lot of things now and my friends they believe a lot in like spirit stuff crystals i don't like that at all but uh -huh. that's their belief i don't get involved with that i see yeah so all right let's see what your friend has to say angelina was very energetic and bubbly before like before she didn't care about anything or anyone and then after the incident she was just really like shut out like her, the bubbliness was gone the she I literally didn't see her smile for like a month or two she was just really shut down and closed by everything and everyone and she was just not it was like she wasn't there anymore there was this one time when um, a couple days or maybe a week after the incident she, we were having a sleepover, like the, uh, the five of us, and we came to pick her up, and she would not answer the phone. Like, it would, she, she said that she passed out, like she was just sleeping. And we called her and called her, and she wouldn't answer, and then finally she answered, and then she just grabbed the blanket and left. And so part of her, um, after the incident, just was more cautious about everything, and especially spirituality. So, we try not to talk about it as much, and we try respecting her wishes because obviously that's something traumatic and something that should be, we should be wary of. She's doing a lot better since last August, and I'm glad she's doing a lot better. She's batting or whatever, and she's <laughs> doing all of this. She's on the right path. <laughs> she's doing good things, and she's prospering, which I'm really happy about. I'm happy for her. So, if you're comfortable sharing with us this, can you tell us what happened? So, it didn't happen to me, but it happened to my mom. But I was there and during the whole time. So, basically, what happened to her, one morning she woke up and she was not acting like herself at all. Mm -hmm. And we thought she was going crazy, but she was not. Oh. She was actually possessed. Possessed? Yeah, by a spirit. Oh. By seven spirits. And, yeah, we had to call the ambulance. They released her. They were like, there's nothing wrong with her. And so we had to go to someone, like, that believes in, like, spirits and all that. And she had to get her cards read and all that. And they said that someone was hurting her and they wanted her dead. Oh. Yeah, so we had to go someone like 
them and they took all that out. Right now she's doing great and I'm really happy that she is. But we, the whole family deals with like PTSD with everything that happened. And right now we're going to therapy for that to help us. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. How do you see your families and see your future and your family's future? Uh, I see us pretty good. We now are taking more initiative to stuff. Like before we used to say, oh, let's go to Disney World, but we wouldn't go. But now we're taking like the step, like let's go. We're going to have fun as a family. We're not taking anything for granted because um, you don't know That's what can good. happen. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, let's take a look at the final clip for today. Hey Angelina, um, I just want to say I love you and to never give up. I know everything that happened to your mom, Eileen and Diana, is not easy, but I just want you to continue being who you are. And if you need anything, you can count on me. Uh, I, I'm always going to be there for you. I love you. Well, Angelina, I just want to tell you that I love you with all my heart and that I'm so proud of you for being strong enough for your sisters and for your mom, especially for your mom. It's a rough thing, but you know you always have my support and anytime you want to talk about anything, I'm always here for you. I love you. Well, that was very touching, but that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Angelina, for joining us today. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having Join me today. Join us next time. Goodbye. Thank you guys for having me today. No problem.